Yes, hello. Is this Ega's Bakery? Perfect. This is Mr. Good Energy. I put it in order for a breadstick and a bagel. Where is it at? What do you mean? I pre-ordered it two days ago. I said I needed a breadstick and a bagel for this morning, the French Open Championship. You're not accepting orders right now? You got to be kidding me. Well, I want a refund, ladies and gentlemen, because we have an official upset alert. That's right. Jasmine Polini, a.k.a. Little Italy Ciao Bella, breaks Igas Fiantec. What is going on here, ladies and gentlemen? A 17 to 1 underdog, and she's bringing out the rockets, the heat. Seeking missile straight laser beams. Listen, she might get one of those forehands past me. She's moving eagerly on tech front, back, side to side, like a new TikTok dance move or something. She's just so fast and explosive. Now you understand why I've rated her the second fastest player on tour. Behind Corey Coco Golf, she is just moving Iga's Fiantec all over the place like slip and slide here. Now, do not forget, ladies and gentlemen, Jasmine Polini is a very experienced clay player, well over 200 wins on this surface. That is a lot. Yes, guys, more than Iga Fiontech. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, she's also a Master 1000 Championship title holder. She won Dubai this year. I told you she would. But let's take a look at the Master 1000 title holders. We have Iga, who's hold, she currently holds five. She's freaking darn amazing. I say it all the time. That's why she's big, bad eater. Big up. Big, she's big bad Iga because she dominates the tour, ladies and gentlemen. Jasmine holds Dubai. Coco, she holds Cincinnati. Sabalenka, Pegula, Collins, those are your master one. Uh, Rebecca is not in that mix, ladies and gentlemen, but Polini is. And she breaks Iga, and this crowd erupts with joy. This is fun to watch, guys. She's came here to fight. She's not going to lay down. And I feel that Jasmine's playing her game. I can tell that she is just gauging the ball, each situation, using her best judgment, using her experience on clay, using her speed to just get balls back. Yes, Iga's winning some amazing winners down the line as well. But Jasmine is really putting up a fight here. And look how short she is. I say it all the time. Congratulations to all the men and women that really believed in, in all of these players. But in particular, Jasmine, look how short she is. She said she wishes she was taller. Jasmine, you're fine the way you are. You're an Italian. You're an African warrior. You are a queen, a goddess. And the Polish powerhouse, she's a queen herself, ladies and gentlemen. Much respect to all the Polish fans, all the Italian fans, all the tennis fans worldwide supporting the channel, supporting women's tennis. We have an amazing sport here, and this championship match has been nothing but entertaining so far. Jasmine gets the break, and look at the air egos. I need a pair of those, ladies and gentlemen. She gets the break. She's up 2-1. Now, can she hold serve and make it 3-1? I say it all the time in tennis. That's a Jordan fist pump. The hardest thing to do in a professional tennis match is hold on. But right now, Jasmine Polini, she's actually winning Iga's second serve at this very moment. She is winning 45% of Iga's second serve, 40% of her first serve. And Jasmine Polini, ladies and gentlemen, she converts to break point, And there's not an empty seat in this house. Tennis in a minute will be back. Going out to serve again. Can she hold?